Professor, at Mercer County, your program, first of all, had an amazing impact in helping New Jersey. Through the pandemic, you were manufacturing face shields. Tell me how that came about. The president came with the idea that our lab makes face shields, and she was saying that hospitals like Robert Wood Johnson are in need of face shields. And uh, in total, we made 4,000 of them. We made for our college. Every single student in college got one. Uh, we gave to Robert Wood Johnson, St. Francis and Trenton, many, many faces. You're teaching the next generation of New Jerseyans to enter a manufacturing field. What are the students learning at your program? Our program is mainly focused on machining. So we learn the basic skills for using the manual machines which are still useful today, but we also teach them the, net, the, the high tech uh, machines, the CNC, computer numerically controlled uh, machines. Uh, also, we teach uh, the science of metrology, how to inspect parts and measure parts. We teach safety because um, one important thing when you work in manufacturing, you don't have to be a liability on the company. And how quickly do students get placed after they go through the program? <laughs> oh, very quick. I can guarantee you. Just literally, they took the introductory class. And I have, uh, like, al almost on monthly basis, maybe every other month, a company reaching out, hey, can we have one of your students come? And I usually forward that email to my student. And many of them get hired. And what sort of career can these students expect? And, and why should students perhaps, perhaps think about a career in manufacturing if they haven't thought about it before? Manufacturing is a huge broad spectrum. Manufacturing goes from making cookies uh, to uh, making airplanes uh, and Boeing going by automotive, making medical apparatus, making PPE. The spectrum is huge. And the fact that you're a machinist, you have the basic skills. You can work as a machinist, but you can work in, in any other industry. How has the program grown in the last uh, couple of years? We're not where we want to be as far as enrollment. Uh, the, main, the main issue uh, we're seeing, we surveyed high school students. The knowledge about that career path isn't there. When we surveyed, I surveyed 89 students uh, in, in high school, 51% didn't know what advanced manufacturing is. And uh, we really need to design um, marketing material that appeals to the young generation to get them into manufacturing. We try to appeal to the right personality that would like the manufacturing as a career. That, but basically there are people that hands-on that like fixing stuff, that like repairing stuff, that like working with their hands. Um, people that are fine or okay with math, they don't have to be brilliant, but there's no way around math in, uh, in manufacturing. And then um, as far as how valuable manufacturing is society, we we'll, we'll all have seen it in, um, in COVID, how desperate the need was. Professor, it's been great chatting with you and hearing about the program. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.